Hi everybody, it's Victoria. I have not been here making videos. I've been MIA, I've been working a lot, especially with this COVID shit that's going on. Over it. So we're gonna try and do this box eye, okay? So really we're going to try and create the look with a straighter eyebrow, you know, the fierce eye. And I usually do the cat eye with my liquid, but we're gonna do them with the shades of brown. Uh, brown shadows, trying to make it soft very almost cat-like but not really cat-like so anyhow let's get started so when we do this you gotta start off with some really good brows right so first things first we got to pluck okay so I'll be using my Marc Jacobs mirror because it is ginormous <laughs> and we're gonna pluck So my brows are cleaned up, nice and arched, and everything. So what we are, we are going to start off with our Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Face Base. Okay, I haven't put anything on my face in quite some time. <laughs> so this is going to be awesome. We'll take our Beauty Blender, just start scooping parts of it out of there, and placing it all over our face. I know everybody got poor problems, right? Or almost everybody. Except for my daughter Maddie, she's kind of gloating in the background there. She's my cameraman for today, so. Everybody say hi, Maddie. <laughs> All right, so now that we got, now that we have a good layer going on with the Bobbi Brown, we are going to also use the Bobbi Brown Skin Foundation with SPF. 15. Okay, this is in color natural 4. It legit feels like nothing's on your face. I only put two pumps on. I'm gonna kind of pat some on there. We're going to use a flat end to my faux beauty blender and start patting in there. So, what's everybody been doing? How's everybody been doing? amidst this COVID shit. Hopefully people are live well, taking care of themselves and their families because it's important and anybody that knows me, patient or not, knows that I'm pretty big on self-care. Do I do it myself? Absolutely not. Well, not consistently anyways, but I try, and that's what we we try to do, right? So whether it's listening to music, getting up out of bed, taking your meds, showering, changing your clothes, um, going outside for a little bit, those are the things that are important. Those are self, you know, the ways to do some self care. These self care is trying to change your situation or your environment or stressor enough to decrease the stress or over, you know, whatever is causing you to be depressed or anxious at that moment, right? So if it means getting your ass outside and going for a walk around the block, so fucking be it. Welcome self-care. Meditating, five, 10 minutes, self-care. Beating my face with the beauty blender, <laughs> self-care. Okay, see it? Freaking disappears on your skin. It looks gorgeous and it feels so good. It actually feels like a moisturizer. So now that we're done with that, here is our beautiful face. Now we are going to use some concealer because I haven't seen the sun in <laughs> three damn days. Just joking. Um, <laughs> been inside. Hey, the sun. It's been raining here in Pittsburgh. What do you want? So born this way concealer. All right, and I am in medium. Okay, so we're gonna do. Oh, hmm, I'm gonna go a little bit under these. This is my It Cosmetics. Woo, my It Cosmetics airbrush concealer brush. And it is wonderful. 
it diffuses the color, um, it almost makes you look airbrush. Irony, right? Uh, now, since the brushes are really nice and soft and doughy like, it diffuses the color just like that. Okay. Siren. This is called the Accomplice Powder. Okay, and look, it's got its own little brush attached to it. It's awesome. Um, it's a blurring type powder, and this was Siren is kind of like going to the lighter medium, you know, tones. Or sh so I take my Japanese Kabuki style brush, um, kind of tap it in there, and kind of pat on top because I do have little pores around my my nose and my cheeks here. And then everywhere else, I'll take it real light. And you don't have to push the goddamn brush right into your skin. You just got to do it real light. And look at that. Look at the skin. And it's just beautiful. It glows. It looks healthy. It's not cakey, see? It looks and feels amazing. So I'm already... So I have my Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. We're going to kind of bake the under eyes just a teeny bit. Take my classic tried and true little powder puff. Okay. Kind of pat it in there. Right. So that way it keeps your under eyes from creasing since we did put a teeny tiny bit of concealer on. And I'm also, this is going to be weird, I'm going to bake my pores only because the powder will saturate the oil and make your pores look like they shrink. So we're going to go in with our tried and true Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion in Original. Okay, So we're going to put that on the lids. I like how they have the little one now so in that way it doesn't ooze all over your nail if you noticed. What I've been doing is kind of sweeping it into my eyebrow. And I have been doing that for a little while now. Not last year when I was making you know videos a little bit more consistently, but um, as of the last couple months, I've noticed that when I do huh, when I do do this, it keeps the pencil on my eyebrows longer. So into our eyebrows using the Goof Proof. What we're going to do is whenever we go into the eyebrow, okay, we're going to keep sweeping upward so you kind of see how you sweep up. Okay. Same thing over here. But we're not going to go down. We're going to kind of continue how I went upward. I'm going to continue and kind of connect it from the top. Okay. Almost looks like an anime character, doesn't it? Interesting. So, any of you are curious, this is the first time I've ever done this, so they're going to be a surprise to some of you. Okay, we're gonna continue and start it or continue on with the eyebrows. We're gonna start with the other eye. The same thing. So anyway, a little update on what I've been doing. So you all know that I work in Beaver um, as a psych, as a you know, an LPC. Because of the COVID stuff that's going on right now. We have switched to telemed. Um, in the next few days, I'm going to do a video of, I mean, if you guys haven't figured it out already, come on. But I'm going to do a video of how to set up an account, what we use, what I use anyways for therapy. And, you know, it all follows the HIPAA. It all follows the HIPAA. 
guidelines for security, it's end-to-end -end, um, encrypted connection, so it meets all that criteria um, in my little setup. So I'm still kind of like on the fence of whether or not I want to do this, you know, in my office I can show you, or if we do this, you know, um, here. So now that our primer is set, what I'm going to be using first is my transition color. So I have the little Natasha Denona kit. This is the mini Lila palette. Okay. And what we're going to be using is called Flint. This is this nice little transition color here. Looks like a little hazelnut color. So I'm going to use my Morphe Jaclyn Hill JH30 brush. So this nice doomy, um, fluffier brush, okay, to put my transition color in. So we're going to kind of stay on the lid, kind of concentrating here uh, on the end of the eye. Kind of keep the focus and the diffusion from contour down of the, of the lid, okay? Okay, so we have our transition color on. So I'm going to use my Too Faced chocolate palette. Kind of a combination of my Bobbi Brown Couture Drama, because they have a pretty nice brown in here too. So this is the Couture Drama. All right, very beautiful shades. You can do as natural or as bold as you want. So I think next what we're going to do is I'm going to stick with the milk chocolate, okay? And now we're going to stick a little bit lower to the lid, okay? So what I'm going to do is take my Jaclyn Hill JH32. It's a little domier, but it's uh, tapered and not so fluffy, okay? Go in there and shake it out. And we're going to stay in the corner of the contour to kind of create depth of our eye. You can see what I'm going to do, it's almost like you're striking this way, okay? So I'm trying to keep everything a little more aerodynamic, I guess, and up towards the end of the eyebrows here, okay? Same thing into milk chocolate. Staying in the corner of the eye, or the outer corner, and into the contour. So you see kind of like how it's starting to come out this way. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to cheat a little. All right, so I have my Marc Jacobs. This is the, it's called Brownout Eyeliner. Okay, it's an amazing eyeliner. So what we're going to do, we're going to get a nice little bit of it here. So we're going to go from the corner of the eye and flick upward and we're going to diffuse that way and fill it in with some dark brown shadow. Okay. okay. We're going to come up quite a bit here. Okay, that was a little too high. But nothing that powder can't diffuse, right? Come up this way a little bit. Come up this way a little bit. And we're going to get started with the shading. So what we're going to do now is take our Jaclyn Hill JH40, much smaller contour brush, okay? And then we're going to go into this brown of the Bobbi Brown, which is Twist of Fate. Okay, swirl and tap it real, real loosely like. And now we're going to go right into the heart of where we kind of put our brown and diffuse it and move it forward. See how it's making it a lot softer. Okay, I'm gonna swirl back into that brown again. With this one, it's almost gonna create, we're almost gonna create like this eyeliner um, line with the shadow to kind of give that depth again, okay? But this is what we want, okay? And then we're gonna go a little bit in with the brown the same way because it's tapered. As you're looking up, your head tilted, kind of go down a little bit. 
bit, kind of like this three quarter part right here with your eye to kind of give it um, a depth. Okay. And now we're going to do the same thing with this eye. I'm going to use our artist. This is called the Linear One. Okay, so now we're going to go into a really dark brown. It's called Triple Fudge from the Chocolate Bar. Okay. Kind of swipe it. Kind of go this way towards the corner of the eye. Boom, I'm lying. What we're going to end up doing is taking the Jaclyn Hill number 41. It's the dome lid brush. I think what we're going to do, we're going to use the Bobbi Brown. It's going to be the front rows, the shimmer wash. Okay. We're going to pat right in the center. We're going to be using this instead of false lashes. Okay, so we're going to use um, compact to go ahead and put this on. And so now the focus here now is we're going to make the lashes come up and out that way. Okay, so looking up partially, and my lashes have grown dramatically since the last time you guys seen me. So. We're definitely going to emphasize, look at those, <laughs> we're definitely going to emphasize the outer of the lashes, okay? So yeah, these are nice, but we're going to put a couple coats here, maybe even three coats to kind of make it come out and up and out. <laughs> okay. Three. Okay, so we, again, we want up and out into the corner, but real light underneath the lash line. Okay, and we're gonna repeat the same thing on the left side, stop it. So if you're looking at it, it's like coming up as angular, our NYX contour kit. Okay, so we want to do like a grayish brown. So I think we're going to go in with this one here. This one's called HCPS07. What the hell that means? I couldn't tell you. Probably right. a robot. Maybe. Okay, so we're going to use a shape shifter brush from Urban Decay. Swirl, or, you know tap in here just a little bit okay but now we're you know again we're, we're we went bold with the eyebrows and you know the eyes and stuff so we're gonna come down towards this bit right here sweep up see how I started that so kind of came down a little point and then kind of down here so that way kind of gives us a hollow cheek look and kind of coming up to the temples okay same thing. Okay, so now I've created that hollow cheek effect. Hmm. Tart, this is the party. It's a little sample. Okay, and so what I like to use is my Sephora professional brush in size number 50. Okay, and what I like to do is kind of pat it in there to kind of get it to touch and Right where we contoured here, you're going to pat it in. Again, 
against where you contoured. Why? Because it give, it blends the contour in. Okay. If you do have a harsh line, it kind of softens it there. See, so when you smile. Just a little bit on the apples of the cheeks, but not really. So again. Just for highs, we're gonna mark Jacob's bronze, but very lightly. So this is the other Nikki Tutorials palette, or you know, part that came from the <laughs> Sephora VIB Rouge. Just means he's been too much money. <laughs> Pat lightly. Now we have a bit of warmth here. You should highlight your nose. Are you done yet, kid? She okay, and so. Very lightly, we're gonna bronze, okay? We're gonna use the Norris Adoration, okay? And we're gonna use the little highlight here. So I have another Japanese brush. This is called number 718, okay? And what I like to do is kind of use the side of it. Now we're gonna go onto my <laughs> my non-existent bridge. Okay, kind of to the top to highlight that there is something there. We're gonna highlight the part of her cupid's bow. Use the hourglass. Okay, this is called Idealist lipstick. Okay, some miles on it, but you know what? It still works. Okay. All-nighter, mm. our all-nighter spray. This is our tried and true. <laughs> fan, fan, fan. I got some glitter from the eyeshadow on that, so you don't have extra highlight. And voila. So, here is the look. So take care, stay safe. If you guys need anything, message, let me know. I'll do whatever I can within my being, especially in the state of Pennsylvania. Sorry, licensed only in Pennsylvania. Um, but if you guys are in other states, maybe I can help you kind of connect with other therapists in other states, okay? All right, take care. All right, bye.